Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Yes, today we are going to be doing our makeup. Oh my goodness me, it's absolutely stunning. Yes, that's happening. Yeah! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the, the Juno Show. One and a welcome to the, the Juno Show. One and a welcome to the Juno Show. And a welcome to the Juno Show. <laughs> yes, that's happening. Yes, welcome back, people. We are doing a makeup video today. Yes, that's happening. I am very aware that I look like a grandma that's just been shit on by a bird. I know this wig is very short on me and I look like I need to speak to the manager, but we're going to make it work, people. Yes, we are. Because today we are going to be doing a lovely and gorgeous cow print inspired makeup video. But before I start, I must remove my sunglasses. Yes, I am currently white as a sheet. <laughs> because I have covered myself with a lovely um, clown white base so that I can, this is the base of the cow print. We're going to start with um, the, um, the, the blush. So we're going to go in with this absolutely stunning blush palette from Trixie Mattel Cosmetics, which I absolutely adore. Now the cow print makeup look that I'm going to do today, um, I am basically recreating a look that I did many moons ago many, many moons ago, um, when I was doing a Sims video, and I just decided to print, paint myself like a cow. Um, and, I, and, it's, and everybody loves it so much, yes they do, they always draw pictures of me in the cow print look. Um, so I thought I'd do it again, um, just so I can show you all how I do it, blending this in. Kind of like when I did Mary Antoinette's um, very central blush. And we're going to do a bit of pink all up the nose. Now when I do this cow look, I like to have quite a pink nose because we want to make our milkshake bring all of the boys to the yard. So next, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be starting with the eyebrows. And I have been sent in the post. Ah! I just dropped my absolutely stunning mirror that I got sent in the post from What A Drag UK. And I have to show this off because it's absolutely amazing. It has, it has, don't look at my bedroom, but it has lights in it. Oh! How cool is that? Like, I can now see into the future. Recently, I've been using an Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics eyebrow pencil. I like to use it to stencil out where the eyebrow's going and then I can sort of draw on. And we're just gonna go all the way over. Yes, that's happening. So I'm just doing a normal eyelid shape that I usually do, but this time I'm going to go slightly higher and then instead of going right into the nose, I'm actually gonna go straight down. More clown shaped. More, think more Bianca Del Rio um, eye shape. Now, there is a story behind this cow print makeup, people. Used to do the cow print and animal print sculptures, and then I decided one day I'm going to put this on my face, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So, in the 1960s and uh, late 50s, there was a lot of um, speculation of um, us aliens abducting the cows from the fields and um, harvesting organs from the cows. Um, and that's true, we did. We abducted the cows and we took them away. And um, the truth is that we actually don't abduct cows for experiments. We do it for the fashion, darling. We do it for the fashion. And the idea of um, mixing a blue alien or a, a turquoise alien with a cow print I have always fell in love with. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, enough story time from old Granny Juno Birch. I should carry on with my eyebrows. Eye sockets. Blending is the secret. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm just blending it out very nicely. Now, usually, I would use white Krylon to set my eyelids with and mark out my creases, but I thought I'd treat myself today and I bought, I spent about £45, I don't usually spend much money on makeup, but I actually treated myself to some of these um, P. Louise um, 
eye bases, which are quite expensive, I'm not going to lie. We're going to use this flat brush from What A Drag UK. So I have a white P. Louise as well, I'm going to mix that in. Okay, right, okay, okay. Oh my god, this flat brush works wonders, people. I'm going to take a lovely brush. And I'm going to take this sugar pill palette that has a beautiful lavender tone in it. And we're going to be using that to matte our lids. Yes, that is happening. Oh my god, yes. I absolutely adore sugar pill makeup. Right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing with this eye. I'm just going to plonk this all over. Feels like it's gone on smoother. And it looks like I'm not going to get any of those creases. But we shall see. And now what we're going to do is we are going to take the... Um, Where's my bent brush gone? Oh my god, where's my bent brush, people? Oh my god, no, I need my bent brush. My favourite brush in the entire world. Where are you? I can't find my bent brush. Oh my god, I can't find it. Oh my god, where's my bent brush? People, I'm going to be fuming in a minute. Where's my bent brush? Where is it? Oh my god, it's right there. Oh my god, I found it. Oh. This is my gorgeous bent brush, which you may recognise from my previous videos because I use all the time because I absolutely love it. Oh, it's a really gorgeous grapey colour this. Now my makeup has changed quite a lot since I last did this look and um, so I'm a lot more clownier, I'm a lot more draggier um, than the first time I did it. So I don't know whether that's going to look better or worse but we shall see won't we? Oh my god, stunning, 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 stunning. Oh my god, absolutely. Look at that people, look at the blendage, look at the blendage, look at the blendage. Oh that's just stunning, I can't, I literally, can we just observe the beauty? I really like this. Okay, right, okay, let me just have another sip of my coffee. That was my Anne Hathaway impression. Anyway, yes I do, I have a Pat McGrath Labs eyeliner. And I kindly got sent this in the post from Selfridges, who are absolutely stunning and absolutely very kind. Um, so I'm going to use this, um, which I have tested already, and it's absolutely stunning, and we're gonna just go, yes. But I just wanna say, people, this is really, really matte black eyeliner, and I love it. Now, as I'm getting older, my eyelids are getting wrinklier and wrinklier and they are starting to resemble the texture of a tortoise's neck. No, Barbara, I'm not 42. Shut up. I am 27 years old. Oh no! <gasps> People, no, this can't be happening. No, oh my goodness me. No, right. Okay, so we seem to be having a bit of leakage in the corner of the eye. Can you see that? And I'm going to use this Pat McGrath eye, eye, eye. Mascara. Now, this mascara smells like pollen. Very faint line that is going to separate the, um, oh my god, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But before I go on to the cow print, I'm going to put on some really beautiful, gorgeous lashes. And, oh my god, people, can we just talk about these femme tops? Really gorgeous. Like, look at that, people. Look how much difference that makes to the look. Bring me the axe! Oh my god, I love these lashes! What a drag UK people, amazing lashes. Yes, that's happening. Oh my god, did you see my lips shaking then? Where are my lips shaking? <laughs> oh my god, I really am an OAP, aren't I? We're going to put on the lipstick now. Usually I use a liquid lipstick, but today I'm going in with a gorgeous Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics. Um, matte wheelie lipstick. Oh, look at that, people. Last time I did the cow print makeup, I used a eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner, and it took me ages to do. Um, so I'm not going to do that this time. I'm actually going to use Meron makeup. It's like um, it's like black snazaroo. Um, so I'm going to use this to draw the pattern on, um, and we're going to see if it's any good. I'm sure it will be great. I've already done a little bit of a test, as you can see. Now, I know this is an eyeshadow brush, but I think it's, it looks like it could be the right gorgeous. So we're gonna, just gonna put that in a bit of water. Can you hear the water? And we're just gonna mix this in with the black. This is honestly gonna go everywhere, I just know it. Oh yes, oh right, okay, that's absolutely. Oh my God, this is really good, people. Oh no, the thing is, I really enjoy drawing cow print. So I'm not even thinking about where this is going, people. I'm literally 
just doing it randomly. Oh, people, I must say, this is very therapeutic. Oh, uh, ha, 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 ha. Right, okay, we've got a little bit down there. I'm gonna do a little bit, like, literally just like a Dalmatian spot there. And we're gonna do a little bit around the back of the neck. Oh, this is so nice to do. Sorry, I'm being really quiet because I'm really enjoying this. It's actually relaxing me a lot. I do get a bit hypo sometimes, and I find that drawing and painting really does calm myself. Oh, it feels so nice on my skin. Aliens are coming, people. Look busy. Oh, do you know what, people? I f***ing love this. I'm just gonna start here. Okay, being very, very careful around the wig line. Yes, a lot of people always ask me, why do you wear wigs when you're doing your makeup? And the answer is, I like to feel the fantasy before the fantasy has even happened. Do you know what? I've never seen anything look so gorgeous in my life. Hey, Mr. DJ, turn the record on. I'm gonna dance with my baby. I need to stop. I don't want to get too carried away. I'm gonna do a little tiny bit here. I'm now currently painting my boobies, and I don't know why, because they're not even on camera. I'm just sort of enjoying the cold sensation of paint on my body around my eye area, like so. Oh. I'm going to get the um, acrylic paints. Yes, don't judge me. Oh my god, absolutely stunning. Look at that. I really like this. Oh my god, do you know what we need to put on? Wait. I've got this lovely beret from Alini Beret. And um, they are absolutely gorgeous and she makes them herself. So I'm going to try and pop this on top of my head, like so. Let me just... Da -da 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 -da. So I hope you enjoyed watching me do this video. I really, absolutely love doing this. It's very therapeutic um, to paint the skin. Um, so I might do some more videos where I do like little patterns and stuff um, in the future. Um, so I would really like to do that. But for now, everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I shall see you next time. Goodbye!